Hello Cancer, this is Julie with Into Heart Space and we're looking at the energy for December 2016, the last month of the year. I can't believe it, this year has gone so fast and I, I really do want to thank you for everyone who's been watching and liking and subscribing and sharing. It's been just so wonderful to get to know all of you and I feel really blessed and filled with gratitude for all of you being here with me on this journey. Um, if you would like to get a personal reading, you can find me on my website or you can email me at intoheartspace at gmail.com. I've also started a Twitter page under Heartspace um, and I do a daily uh, tarot uh, inspirational um, card for you. Um, and I've been linking that to Facebook. Uh, so if you want to like me on Facebook, you'll also get that uh, daily inspirational card. Okay, so let's see here. Cancer. Calling in the highest of light, the highest of energy to guide us on this reading. What messages do we need for our Cancerians? What is the energy for Cancer, December 2016? What do they need to know? Okay, Cancer. Okay, let's pick some cards. Okay. And the card um, underneath the pile, which is the energy that is coming in from uh, November, is the Nine of Swords reversed. Okay? So with the Nine of Swords reversed, it, it kind of just amplifies the Nine of Swords in, in most regards, is that um, you have a lot of worries on your, on your plate, and you just don't even, it might be that you don't even know which one to focus on first. Um, so it's it's just taking its toll emotionally, mentally on you, um, and that you can't think clearly because of the stress and the worries that you have from November. Um, so let's just see what is coming in with that. We have the Nine of Discs um, reversed, Queen of Cups, Three of Wands reversed, Ace of Swords, Ten of Discs reversed, Queen of Swords, Strength, Ace of Wands, Seven of Cups, Nine of Swords, I'm sorry, Knight of Swords, The Magician, The Empress Reversed, and The Sun Reversed. So, okay. Let me get these in, in so you can see. Alright, so having the Nine of Discs reversed, um, it really is uh, that you not knowing how content you actually are, you know? So it's... Um, having everything in line and in order um, and not really feeling like you do. So that really makes sense with the, um, you know, the nine of swords coming in from November um, that we have this as like the, the radiating theme for all of December. So it's that I think you've been worrying so much, but there's some cause for worry, but all in all, a lot of the things will work out and you're actually sitting much better than you, you realize. So just um, have faith in yourself, Cancer. Things are working out. It just might take a little bit longer than you anticipated, which is happening for a lot of different signs, especially I, I have forgotten to say on a couple of my videos, but we're going into a Mercury retrograde in December. So things are going to be shifting, slowing down, um, making us um, kind of reevaluate where we are. So that makes sense that this is in reverse. All right. So then we have the, um, this is the love sector. So we have the Queen of Cups. And I, this is absolutely you, um, Cancer. You are the Queen of Cups. You are the victor of your emotions, and you know how to rule with a gentle, beautiful hand. You you feel your you feel your way through, and it hasn't it doesn't it's not leading you astray. Um, so for those who are um, partnered then I think it's, you know, you've been kind of hoping for 
um, you know, kind of looking out beyond, this is the three of wands reversed. You kind of just don't see a future right now with your partner and it's kind of hazy and you feel a little lost in this relationship. So what it is, is I think you really need to talk with them. You need to open up that communication in a different way. So if that means, you know, going and getting therapy, that's one way, but also just taking yourself out of your day to day, um, cycle and routine and, you know, going, um, on a hike and then, you know, turning and facing them and saying, let's talk here. Let's talk now. You know, just changing the vibe of the discussion will really shift things for you and will bring you guys to a better space. So, but if you, you definitely need to communicate with them and do something, um, different than you usually do, you know, not, you know, after dinner when everyone's watching football or, you know, do, do something that is out of the ordinary to kind of break the cycle of, I just don't know if I feel the same way. And I think that, um, you'll know emotionally, you'll know you're in a good space when it comes to your love relationship. Like you are clear about who and what you are in this relationship. So, um, you know, it's like you recognize this and you're ready to take that, take that step. Now, if you are single, you still are the queen of swords. Absolutely. Because uh, cups are water signs. So that's Cancer, um, Pisces, um, and Scorpio. Um, but if you're single, it's like you, you kind of feel like no one is there for you. And, you know, you're never going to meet anyone. You know, they the love of your life died in a tragic way when they were, you know, three, you know, kind of feeling. It's like no one, no one's out there. Well, guess what? I think someone's going to come in and it's going to hit hit you in, in the mind, you know, and be able, it will say things that you ne never thought possible, you know? So Cancer, this is a really lovely sign that you're going to um, meet somebody in who really uh, you resonate with um, and you can communicate with. Um, so let me know, Cancer, if you if you meet somebody in December at a holiday party or um, <laughs> shopping for your friends and family or strolling down the street in the snow and you just meet somebody, let me know. that I, I love hearing stories like that. Okay, so then we have over here in the career sector and we have the Ace of Wands. Um, then we have the Seven of Cups and then the Knight of Swords. Okay. Okay. So for career, we have a quick message coming in a Knight of Swords or somebody who is in air sign. So air signs are Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Okay. Um, they're bringing in a message and I think as I see it here, I, I think they're bringing in a message that really is exciting and new and it, it really kind of, um, gets you amped up in a way like you're, you, you're on board. However, we have the seven of cups. So, um, you know, this is often like the, like excessive, it can be, um, be an addiction sometimes, but it also is not knowing what to choose and what choices are going to benefit you and what choices are going to hold you back. Okay. So, but I'm seeing here, like just the layout of the cards, you know, the Knight of Swords is going towards this new beginning and leaving this behind. So I feel like if you are the Knight of Swords, you know that it's time to leave the indecision behind and to some of the choices that you've been making in your career aren't satisfying where you want to go. Um, so you know that you need to let go of those so you can move on to this new beginning. Now, if this is a message and this is actually somebody coming in, then I feel like they're going to be pulling you away from this. And it might be kind of hard for you uh, because it's comfortable. You know, this is comfort for you. Um, and, but they're going to pull you out of your shell and, t and bring you to this new beginning. And it, so it, it, even if you're reluctant, I would suggest being open to this, this different role that, that you may play, um, or see, you know, this new, uh, future that, that could happen. 
Okay, so don't just poo-poo it and say it'll never work or um, no, that's not that's not something I'm interested in. Give it a chance and see and see if it resonates because I think it actually will. I think it will actually um, light you light you up in in different ways. Um, yeah, just be careful not to fall back into certain circumstances that are comfortable but just don't serve you anymore. All right, and that this is in the career and work area. Over here we have finances, so we have the Ten of Discs reversed. We have the Queen of Swords, and then we have Strength reversed. Okay. All right, so I mean, looking at this, like you could actually owe owe some money to someone or some company. Like you know, you you might be in debt, and it's going to take um, a lot of willpower to like pay it off and not spend money on other things that you want to play with. Uh, but it's you know, this Queen of Swords. It's just like I look at her and it's like I, I feel like she's saying, "Pay the piper," you know. Um, so, you know, like I, I get the feeling that some, some cancers might be like in debt collection um, or just, you know, have an outstanding bill. And I would call them and tell them your situation and slowly try to make the payments on it. Um, because once you start that, then I feel like the 10 of discs will turn upright. Okay. Because this card, this card is still positive when it's... Um, in reverse, it's just kind of at a lower level. So, you know, the Ten of Discs is um, finally being financially free, uh, you know, being secure in what you want to do, being able to pay your your life and then have a little bit left over to have fun with. Um, but right here we have Strength and the Ten of Discs in reverse. So it's, you know, it's like you um, you have to put a little bit more effort in to make this happen, okay? Um, and if you don't, then like the Queen of Swords will come down on you pretty harsh, okay? Because she can do that. She has the ability, and, and it can be a she or he, has the ability to separate themselves from their duties, okay? So if their duties are to, you know, take money from you because that it's, it's a debt that needs to be paid, even if they like you as a person, they're still going to, you know, follow through on it. Okay, because that's their job. Um, but it, it still has, it's just, you just need to take care of the situation. And then these two will turn upright. Okay, these are very positive cards, even in, in the reverse. It's, it, this is more of like a, an annoyance, you know, like, oh, gosh, darn it. Yeah, you're right. I do. I need to, you know, pay that. And once you take care of that, then it'll alleviate some of your stress. And this could also be what is keeping you up at night is you financially you just don't feel stable and you feel like you don't have enough to survive on. But in actuality, you really do. You have more than you think if you just, um, you know, budget it out correctly. So um, definitely, I mean, you can also, the um, Queen of Swords could symbol, symbolize an accountant or somebody who is financially savvy. So talk to them and see if they can help you. Okay. All right. And then here we have health and we have the magician, the empress um, reversed, and then the sun reversed. So this, um, and this is your health. So you are you are in a healthy position, you are, but it's um, like if you're trying to have children, this is just not going to be the time. You know, you're, it's, it's, um, it's like you're not as fertile, you're not as full of life and vibrancy. And so, but you are, even though you don't feel your best right now, um, you still have people don't know it, you know, people still see you as this beautiful, vibrant Cancerian, full of love, light, and, you know, just yummy, you know, chocolate chip cookies, you know, they still see you as, as that, that person, you know, 
but you just might not be feeling it a hundred percent. So it's kind of like when somebody comes up to you and says, Oh gosh, you look so great. Uh, what, what have you been doing? And you're like, I've been crying myself to sleep every night, worried about finances and just a little foggy about work. <laughs> and and they're like, oh my gosh, you would never be able to tell. You look great. So this is that kind of situation where even though you might feel a little helter-skelter, a little jolted, you um, appear to be just, you know, this pristine goddess or or god, you know. Um, so that's, you know, even if you feel like it's a facade, know, know that it's still a part of who you are. And even if you don't feel it, it's what you are resonating out, out to everyone. And so that has an element of truth to it, okay? Even if you feel like poop, you look like a rose. And so that fertilizer is working for you, you know, and making things grow in ways that you hadn't anticipated. And so that's what I'm really starting to get with this right now, Cancer, is after looking through this reading and talking with you regarding this, it's um, know your worth, Cancer. Yeah, I know you've been really worried. I know things have been uh, complicated for you, but even though they are complicated, you are a rose and you are still shining through and you still, ha I mean, you're a queen. You have new beginnings that are really going to light things up. Yes, you might have some financial things you need to tie up, but they are, are on the verge of doing better. So, you know, the sun is in reverse is still also positive. It's still luck, but, but it's luck that you have to acknowledge. It's not just handed to you. Like, here you go, make it there. You're lucky. It's like acknowledging the things that you are grateful for and what you have been doing and saying, Hey, that's something special. I'm going to hold on to that. Okay. So this is, um, you know, this is energy coming in, not energy coming out. Let's call in the angels, Cancer, and just see what other messages we have for you. Calling in the highest of light, the highest of energy to guide us on this reading. Cancer, angels, what added message do you have for my Cancerians? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, there's two cards in here. Okay, first one is Heal Away Addiction. So this links right down here, okay, um, with this lovely little Seven of Cups. Um, it's time to let go of behaviors that are blocking you from your heart's desire. Ask Archangel Raphael to help you with this healing. Let me say it one more time because this is, this is big for you this month, Cancer. It's time to let go of behaviors that are blocking you from your heart's desire. Ask Archangel Raphael to help you with this healing. Okay. So, you know, I think a lot of the, these issues are self-inflicted. Okay. Like people just see you so bright and shining and you don't see that in yourself. And we need you to see that because you're beautiful. And it's important to know that and to acknowledge that so you can help yourself grow and help others grow as well. So this, if you are, if you do have an addiction, if you have a true addiction to food, to um, alcohol, to drugs, seek out help. And while you seek out help, talk with your angels to help you guide through it. Um, but addictions can be really subtle too as, you know, self-deprecation, constantly putting yourself down in your mind. That becomes an addiction. You know, your brain gets wired a certain way and so you just start thinking that you are awful when you're not. So, you know, block that behavior. It's not serving you anymore and ask for help from, with, with spirit. Okay, and so then we also got the solar plexus chakra. That's a beautiful card. Okay. It is safe for you to be powerful and take charge of your life in positive ways. I, it's like I would do a mic drop if I could right now because that's, that's it. That's it, Cancer. Right there. It is safe for you to be powerful and take charge of your life in a positive way. 
you have a lot of support, it's time to use it. And it's not even just support, you know, communal support, but it's spirit is on your side. The community is on your side. If you just reach out, um, and guess what? So is you are on your side. It's time to get on your side. Okay. Make yourself your, your, you know, biggest fan. All right. I have been pulling, um, animal, uh, spirit knowledge cards for this month, just so that we can, um, call on our spirit animal or s just to relate with an animal. Um, you know, we are all connected in different ways. So also I find that when I pull this for, for people in my readings, then they see this animal all around and they start kind of looking into the folklore of the animal and what it means to them. And they see that it resonates, um, for that time as, as often as a, as a protector and an acknowledger of where you are. So. That one. Okay. The bull. That's a beautiful card too. So the bull, the bull uh, represents renewal, fertur fertility, and growth. Um, you know, so this is, I mean, the bull is strong and I mean, in, you know, it, like I am reading the back of it, there's a whole saying, which I won't read to you because that's just too long. And I know you would lose interest, but just looking at what they're talking about and, um, you know, that it's sprinkling fields with new growth. It's taking the old and creating and resurrecting, um, life. It's sacrificial. Um, it's taking youth, yeah, youth to restore life. So the bull is, um, strong. It's very, it can be stubborn, you know, but it also, it has to be stubborn because you have to be stubborn to make something grow. You can't just plant a seed and then leave it there. You have to come back and you have to water it. You have to watch over it. If it's too much water, you got to lay off the water. Something's not right. You're not getting enough light. You got to move it to the light. Oh, you know what? A little bit of fertilizer. That's great. You know, you have to watch it and you have to persevere through it. And that's what the bull does. So by doing that, um, you, you are growing in yourself, you are renewing yourself and you are making the land around you and yourself fertile. So this is, um, you know, right now you, you don't feel that you don't feel, you feel a little blocked. Okay. So call on your, um, angels to help you. And then also, um, meditate on the bull and see what this animal can bring for you. All right. Thank you, Cancer. Uh, if you would like to get a reading, you can contact me on my website or through email at intoheartspace at gmail.com. Also, I have a Facebook and now a Twitter, which I'm doing daily posts of inspirational tarot cards, just one card for the day, just to give us something to think about as we move through our lives in this time and space. Um, but thank you so much. Happy holidays to everyone out there who celebrates. And if you don't celebrate holidays, then, you know, happy winter solstice. Um, you know, or for others, summer solstice, you know, so thank you. Thank you. Um, love, joy, and blessings.